Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. I want to tell you that President William Ruto of Kenya has proven to be a direct opposite of what we have in Nigeria in the person of Tinubu. I want you to listen to this at the point where the federal government of Nigeria is applying to increase their salaries and that of stop government officials in Nigeria. William Ruto is doing the direct opposite. Or a forward march to the video. So our teachers, our policemen, our people serving in the military uh, space, people working in government offices, we have agreed that because of where we are today, your salaries will be adjusted by between 7 and 10 percent from tomorrow. But for the other people, the state officers, myself, my deputy, ministers, PSS, na wale wadosi wengine wabunge, na wale wengine, sisi mambo yetu tungoje. Tabadhali. Hiyo mshahara itakuwa mahapo. Mi nimeona watu wanasema oh mshahara ya kuna watu fulani hapana. Hiyo mshahara ingoje hapo. Until I have instructed the SRC to give us international best practice because we need to reduce the gap between all of us who work for the people of Kenya. We need to make sure that the gap between the person paid the least and the person paid the most is not too big because we are all workers. It is not possible that uh, the people at the top earn 100 times more than the people at the bottom. It is not, it's not right. Because we live in the same country, we buy the same food, we go to the same shop, we go to... Uh, so so we, we, I have told SRC there is an internationally accepted... Uh, it's called compression uh, formula. Until they come back to me to tell me we meet that threshold, until we are all living uh, the same. You see that? You remember when this man came on board and how he became the president of Kenya? Hmm. Everyone celebrated it because he didn't impose himself on the people because the people believed in him and believed in his character. That is why they are getting this man as their president and reflecting the aspiration of their people. I tell you, Tinibu and their co-travelers are the direct opposite. We knew just recently, I made a video which I published when they went to France. The same France Tinibu went to. The same abroad they will go to and be asking for loans to service their luxurious lifestyles. It's the same place this man went to and told them to their faces that we don't need handout from this so-called Western world. Because we know that this handout comes with strangers attached to it, which had made the African continent short. It had put us in a sorry state. That's the, just a simple word to that. You can see a man that is passionate for the betterment of his people, trying to bridge the gap with, between the haves and the have-nots. Public servants, between those that earn highest and those that earn the least. And I must tell you, those that even earn the least are the ones that work the most. Talking about the security, police officers, military, paramilitary, 
men who are sticking their neck to secure the country, whereas your guys at the top who are in their cool, QZ offices, living a lavish lifestyle, taking so much amount of money from the budget to service their lifestyle in the name of salary, in the name of bonuses and the rest of them. Whereas those who are in the field risking their lives hardly have a take home. The salary they pay them is not even enough to take them home. It's not even enough to take their children to a good school. Knowing fully well that in Nigeria, the schools have failed. So everybody is striving towards taking their children to private school. Whereas the politicians are taking their, their own abroad. So everybody is trying in the same country. You can't pay them well and you expect them to give you the best of services. That is why we are getting what we are getting. It is not a rocket science. That a teacher, professors in the universities are taking home peanuts. Although some professors have proven to be a disgrace by enabling these corrupt politicians to be in government in their role during elections. But nevertheless, we have a good number of professors who have stick their neck out to do the right thing. Just like we saw what happened in Abia State during this year's elections. They give them peanuts. Compared to a politician at the National Assembly, State Assemblies, appointed ministers, taking home big amount of money, chunk amount of money from our budget without doing nothing, without achieving nothing. The same is applicable to other public servants in our society today. They only tend to expand the gap between the haves and the have-nots. This is exactly what this man is trying to bridge in his country. I now see the reason why people like us have vowed that Nigerians must be free from bad governance. And that starts with who is in charge. And who is in charge? can only be determined through the political process. Not just ordinary political process, but a political revolution, which we witnessed an intro to that this year. If Nigerians understand our stand, they will not give up in this fight. We will continue pushing until we push these corrupt political elements out of corridors of power. Outside that, forget it. We'll continue living in bondage in your own country and many of you will take the list of flying away running away from this country to go and become the modern slave in the western world yes people have preferred that instead of living in bondage in your homeland you better be a slave outside your homeland people like me have decided to stand and fight for the liberation of our people through good governance advocacy help me share this video what's your thought on this drop it on the comment section and if you've not subscribed, please do that so that you'll be getting update from this platform where you'll be getting the truth that will set us free. I'm also Janet Peters, the advocate for good governance and the Archbishop of Good Governance Ministry, GGM, be part of this revolution.